everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. Biden stretches with Putin is decade in the making. CNN Joe Biden always says uh, foreign relations is about relationship and he's been develop developing the one he has uh, with uh, Vladimir Putin for two decades. Biden warned that Putin had dreams uh, of rebuilding an authoritarian empire going all the way back to his days as uh, senators uh, from Delaware. On the campaign trail, he said repeatedly that he knew Putin didn't want to him to win. Since the beginning of his time as a president, Biden has relied on his sense of the Russian leaders to guide his own response. It even even uh, guided uh, their way Biden to deal with uh, Putin in the conversations, repeatedly interrupting what he and Nate see as a Russian president's strategies are uh, going off or. Uh, on a tenant mean to muddle and uh, undermine. According to a dozen interview with the White House officials, members of Congress and others involved in the effort, Biden has uh, deliberately uh, worked uh, with the uh, allies abroad to deny the Russian leaders the one-on-one. -on -one. Washington vs. Uh, Moscow dynamic that the president and his uh, as a uh, thing Putin won, publicly and privately talking about the world as a fight for our freedom and democracy. Biden has left other uh, leaders to speak with uh, Putin. He has moved just uh, deeply, uh, directly at home to, to uh, depoliticize opposi opposition to the invasion of uh, Ukraine so that even among uh, Republican support for uh, Putin has been forced to the fringe girl, uh, so that uh, verifying that the Russian leaders has become the one major uh, areas of a uh, bipartisan agreement uh, since Biden took office. This week, Biden uh, ratcheted up uh, his uh, rhetoric by calling the Russian uh, president a uh, world crime criminal, a uh, murderous uh, dictator, and perp perp what uh, Biden is trying to do is surround it and uh, encircle Kiev, said uh, Representative Rex Mix and Democrats who is chairman of the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committees. What Biden is trying to do is uh, have the whole world surrounded uh, Putin. Part of the lessons Biden took from being involved as Vice President during uh, Putin's 2014 invasion of Ukraine was that NATO nations would need uh, a much faster, more humiliating and a more cohesive response than the month of uh, infighting that are produced sanctions so weak that Putin's road them out. Yes, uh, administration officials admit uh, privately that if Putin had uh, invaded Ukraine a uh, year ago, events might have uh, unfolded much different differently coming right off uh, four years of uh, former President Donald Trump damaging relationship and uh, calling NATO's obsolete campaign in 2020, Biden spoke about the confrontations he saw uh, coming. But Putin has uh, one uh, overriding object to break NATO to uh, weaken the Western alliance and uh, to further uh, dismiss our ability to uh, compete in the Pacific by working out uh, something with China. Biden told CNN glory Bogger at the time and it's not going to happen on my watch. Biden's own uh, last conversation with Putin was on February uh, 12, more than a week before the invasion started. And uh, for a president and an aide who on uh, almost everything else complain that they don't get the credit they deserve on uh, Ukraine, his uh, administration's officials have uh, ducked talk about him being leaders of the free world, despite how much of a uh, their sanctions and uh, international response as uh, a uh, result of Washington guidance and uh, pressures. The re result in uh, Putin's being boxed in more than even Biden had uh, expected, along with a certain level of uh, extension to the world abroad. And in America, that has a surprise White House aid without reporting a um, 1980s cycle world. Joe Biden, a senior administration uh, officer, said, has known uh, Vladimir Putin 
uh, for the cases and I know exactly who is uh, dealing with. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.